If you want to be a star, you got to look good. You got to be handsome. I looked at the agent and said, well, how did Forrest Whitaker make it? You seen his left eye? How did Whoopi Goldberg make it? I ain't call her ugly. She said she was ugly in the movie, didn't she? I sure is ugly. Yes, she sure is. Yeah, Whoopi. Y'all don't see what we go through. We got to go through a nightmare to live a dream. I'm paying child support, and the fellas in here pay child support besides me. I'm the only one. That child support is something else, y'all. They treat me like I'm Bin Laden on child support. They're not Bin Laden behind in mountains and caves and canyons. I'm doing the same thing. Except I'm hiding in Section 8 houses and HUD houses. That child support man will try to scare me, y'all. Some stupid news y'all know I can't handle. He gonna try to scare me tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. T-Ray, your child support is more than $7,000 behind. You either pay or I'll suffer the consequences. Now, what you gonna do? I said, suffer the consequences. <laughs> I ain't got no $7,000. He gonna try to scare me with some stupid-ass news y'all know I can't handle. He gonna try to scare me tomorrow. Why, well, you're going to jail. I said, you ain't lying. <laughs> what time you coming to pick me up? <laughs> 11 hours later, the Cheryl came knocking on my door. I was scared, y'all. I got out of bed. I ran through the keyhole. I'm like, wait a minute, Cheryl. I got something to tell you to lock me up. I got something to tell you. You know the Puerto Rican next door? He owed 30000 <laughs> Might as well lock his ass up, too. If I go down, everybody's going down. When I travel the world, though, y'all, I always tell people to enjoy life, because you never know when you're going to go. Am I lying? Enjoy life. You never know when you're going to go. And to me, y'all, feel like there's a lot of things in life that don't add up and don't make sense, ain't it? Things we don't need. Things we can do without. Like algebra. <laughs> what you need algebra for? You can't use it no more after you done graduate. It ain't a person in the night that went to the grocery store and bought a pack of hamburger that cost pi r square <laughs> to the third power. Y'all ain't never bought a pair of geometry pants or paid a fraction of your rent. Watch your butt be walking halfway behind the repo man. Talking about you got the money. It's too late. A lot of things in life that don't add up and don't make sense. Like to have seat belts on an airplane. <laughs> Why do we need seat belts on an airplane? If a plane is flying 30,000 feet in the air and it crashes, the only thing a seat belt won't save is your hip bone. <laughs> you got seat belts on an airplane, but you ain't got seat belts on a school bus. Maybe it's just my logic. <laughs> Loosen up, y'all. Shout out to all the ladies, man. Y'all, we gotta stop the domestic violence. Stop the domestic violence, man. Stop the domestic violence. I read in the paper the other day that the domestic violence rate has finally went down. Don't wanna know why? Cause you modern day women will kill a brother. <laughs> hey, fellas, take one of these women today and go to sleep. Watch your ass wake up dead. Good morning, Jesus. You wake up a big meat cleaver across your chest. You're on Jesus drinking coffee. Stop the bullying, man. School ain't the same like it used to be, is it, y'all? No, we, instead of fighting each other, we used to be competitive. We had competitive games. The three-legged race. You remember the three-legged race? The potato sack hop. The tug of war with a big person at the end of the rope. I would tell my kids, though, if somebody bigger than you and you want to fight, you got to fight your bullies, Cry when you fight. Don't try to fight all pretty. Y'all see somebody try to fight all pretty and me dipping and dodging and pat, get knocked out. But a person who cry when they fight will act the fool. That was stupid. That <laughs> 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 was stupid. T Ray. <laughs> Mentioned that I met the baddest woman in the country. You may know her if you went to university. Her name is Sally May. Anybody know? 